Hello, my name is Dr. Adam from Dr. Adam ASMR. Welcome back this week. This week, as you requested, we're going to be doing some blood work. Don't worry, you don't need to worry about a fear of needles or a fear of your blood work. We're going to talk about all of this. We're going to talk about how we obtain these results and what they might mean. And of course, we will do a brief head to toe exam. So, if it's alright with you, I always like to check in and see, are there any new problems this week that you'd like to discuss? I have my pen. I'm ready. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. Good. Excellent. Okay. And still want to get the... Yes, complete blood count and all of the basic labs, I agree. We can, we can check your thyroid as well. We'll do an exam on that today and we'll also obtain labs for that. Would that be okay with you? Okay, excellent. Well, if it's all right with you, I'd like to start out basic today and actually listen to your heart and lungs first. Okay. my stethoscope here. Set the correct setting here on the bell. And the diaphragm. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Good. That sounds great. Now just relax for me. Everything sounds normal. What I'd like you to do is take a deep breath in and hold it for me. Ready? Deep breath in and hold. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I'd like to check for something called carotid bruise. We're going to be listening to your neck here, okay? What I have you do is turn your head to the left, just like this. I'll have you take a deep breath in and hold it on three, okay? We'll do a practice here on the count of three. One, two, three. And out. It will go just like that. That will allow me to listen to the carotid arteries on both sides to check if there's any plaque or any signs of plaque, it would be a whooshing noise that I might hear. So I'll take a look with the other side here. Now, give me just one moment. Go ahead and turn your head. And deep breath in and hold. Good. Okay, I'll have you turn your head to the other side now, please. Excellent. We'll do the same thing. Let's do one more practice. A deep breath in. One, two, three. And hold. And out. Very good. We'll do that again when I'm ready here. Okay. Deep breath in on three. One, two, three. And hold. You can relax. Excellent. Now, I do know that you like to listen to your heart. Uh, if you'd like to, I'll clean this off and you can take a listen again. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and place this on your ears, okay? A little bit of pressure in your ears. Good. And we'll take a listen to your heart.
Okay. There you go. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Your heart sounds normal, and I don't hear any brewies, which are good. But we will check a lipid panel. I'd like to go ahead and take a listen to your lungs now, okay? Now, just breathe nice and easy. We'll start just with a quick cursory exam. Good. Now we'll go into some deep breaths. So it'll just be nice and slow. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Let's do one together. Deep breath in and out. Then we'll do that same breath again with our mouth open to allow me to hear a little bit better. So we'll breathe in and out. That will help me hear different airspace noises, okay? Great. We'll start on the right side. We'll listen to the top and the bottom, and then we'll go to the left side and listen to the top and the bottom, okay? Okay, here we are. Go ahead and take a deep breath with your mouth closed. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Okay. Now with your mouth open when you're ready. Good. Deep breath in. And out. And once more on the bass. Deep breath in. And out. That's great. Let's take a listen and compare on the left side now. Just regular breathing for now. Mouth closed, deep breath in. And out. Good. And again, deep breath in. And out. Good. Let's go ahead and give you a second to catch your breath there. I know it's difficult when you're taking these big deep breaths over and over. Now, are you ready? What's that? Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and do the mouth open breathing now. Go ahead and take a deep breath in with your mouth open. And out, good. And once more. And out, good. Okay. Now your lungs do sound good. I'm gonna let you listen on the front and then I wanna take just a quick listen to the back as well, okay? Good. I'll let you take a listen here. Let me clean these off. How's everything else going? Good. Okay, let's get these put on you here. I'm just going to tap on this. Good. Okay. Take that deep breath. And down. Deep breath. And down. Just keep breathing normally. and on the back of your lungs very quickly. I'm just going to reach over top here. Deep breath in for me. And out. Good. Let's do the other side here. Deep breath in. And out. Very good. Okay. Good news. Your lungs sound clear. Now, I would like to do an exam on your thyroid. I know we've done this before, but since we'll be checking the thyroid panel today, it's good to repeat that test. So, what I will have you do is uh, just go ahead and uh, if you need any water, now's a good time to take a sip. No? Okay. What I'll have you do is turn your head to the side and bring your ear down. That will let me feel your thyroid nice and easily. So we'll start by having you do that motion to the right side. Ready? Okay. Go ahead. 
and swallow for me. Good. Okay. I'm gonna have you do that one more time so I can feel the lobes of the thyroid a little bit more thoroughly. Ready? Go ahead and swallow. Excellent. Okay. Now I'll have you do the same motion to the opposite side. Left ear down. Okay. Excellent. Go ahead and swallow. Good. And I'll have you swallow one more time here. Are you ready? Okay. Go ahead. Good. Very good. No tenderness there. Okay. I'm going to do some further palpation of your face, but I do want to put on gloves to make sure we're both protected before I do that. Give me just one moment. Excellent. I've got my gloves now. I'm just going to go ahead and put these gloves on here. As we've talked about, I like to make sure they're straight so that they're easier to get on. If they get all wrinkled up, it's a little bit difficult sometimes. do an exam of your head and neck area. Since we're going from bottom up today, I'm going to examine your neck first. We'll check for any lymph nodes or tenderness, okay? Excellent. I'm going to just start by palpation. Is that okay with you? Good. I'm going to inspect while I do this as well. So, I don't see any rashes or lesions. I don't notice any masses. I'm going to start in the supraclavicular region, okay? Just shrug your shoulders up for me. Good. Good. Okay, I'm just going to stand up here. And any tenderness on your neck here? No. Okay, just palpating these nodes. Good, I'm going to come behind your neck. On the back here. Nothing, okay. And now I'm feeling those vertebra. Okay. Just going up and down your spine there. Let me just see here. As I'm tapping on those vertebral spinous processes and posterior areas of the spine, does that hurt at all? Okay, good, good. And I'll check your range of motion now. Go ahead and look all the way to the right. And all the way to the left. Good. All the way up. And put your chin down to your chest. Good. Excellent. Very good. Okay. And no tenderness during that. And if you did have tenderness when you put your chin down to your chest, it might be concerning for something going on in your spine, but specifically in the cerebrospinal fluid, something like an infection would be a concern, but it also could be a musculoskeletal strain, so we wouldn't want to worry. If that ever happens, be sure to come into the doctors. Anyway, we'll get back to our exam here. We'll go up to the face. I'm going to test sensation on your face now. I like to do gross sensation and fine sensation, so we'll start with just my gloved hands here. You'll just feel my hand coming across your face. Now, 
there's a bit of texture on these gloves, so I don't want you to be alarmed, but it will work just as well. Again, this is just the gross sensation. You'll tell me what side and approximately where on your face. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. Excellent. And where do you feel this? Good. And here? use the cotton ball again for uh, testing of sensation of light touch. So we'll just pull small pieces out. That might be too small. Close your eyes again for me. Great. Where do you feel this? Correct. Good. Here. Excellent. Do you feel that? And where? Good. How about here? Great. Here? Good. I think, thankfully, all of the sensation is normal and intact. That's good. Uh, I'm going to have you smile for me. Perfect. Very good. And raise your eyebrows up. Excellent. Close your eyes really tight. Okay, don't let me open them. Don't let me open them. Good. Okay. Now, bite down for me. Bite down nice and hard. Good. Bite down again. Excellent. Take a look with the pen light, okay? And I'll just have you open up your mouth for me and say, ah. Go ahead and put your tongue straight out. Good. And just uh, raise your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Good. Good. Excellent. Very good. Everything seems normal there. I don't notice any deviation of your tongue, which could be a sign of any of the nerves in the mouth, especially the cranial nerves that control the tongue, causing a deviation because of injury. So we don't see that, and that's good. The sensation on your face is normal. The motor capabilities of your face appear normal. Let's test those extra ocular motions and just make sure your eyes are moving as we'd expect. Have you look right at the top here today? Good. Excellent. Uh -huh. Good. Very good. Excellent. Look straight ahead at me. Good. Okay. Everything seems to be lining up as we'd expect. Your extraocular motions appear normal. I'm going to check your hearing real quick. I know it's probably working fine, but let's just make sure you can localize sound. Go ahead and let me know which sound you hear, which side you hear this on here. Good, that was the left side, good. 
Good, that was the right side. Excellent. How about now? Yes, exactly. That was both sides. Great job. Now, I feel pretty comfortable saying that your exam is normal today, which is good. Let's talk a little bit about how we're going to draw this blood work and what we're going to need. I think it'd be reasonable to get what's called a CBC. This is a complete blood count. It'll tell us if you have any signs of anemia, such as a low hemoglobin. It'll also give us information about what white blood cell counts, if you were to say, have an infection. Now there's a lot more technical information there, but I don't think we need to go into that today. Does that make sense? Okay. I'd also like to get something called a comprehensive metabolic panel. Not only does this look at your electrolytes, things like sodium, potassium, it'll also give us a look at your kidneys, how well they're clearing. Things like creatinine, which is a measure of muscle breakdown and clearance. It's a good indicator of how the kidneys are working. We'll take a look at that. And with the CMP, we can also take a look at liver enzymes. If you're having anything going on with your liver, we'll likely see an elevation in those enzymes. We can also see if there's any elevation from alcohol, gallstones in the gallbladder, a lot of other causes. So it's good to check those. Excellent. Now, I did promise we'd add on a thyroid panel. Actually, the best thing we need is what's called a thyroid stimulating hormone test. It's going to check and see if that thyroid is being stimulated. So, we'll be able to evaluate those numbers. If we need, that test can also be converted to a free T4. We won't get into that today, but it's there if I need it. Now, I think that's it. We'll probably tack on a lipid panel which is why I listened to your neck, to check your cholesterol and see how that's doing. And I think we'll get an A1C, which is a measure of your long-term sugar control. It could help us figure out if you have any diabetic conditions. So, we'll start there. Now, I'd like to talk to you about how the process goes. Okay, I'd like to show you what the needle looks like. We're going to use an IV style needle now, this is the needle here. I'll try and allow you to see that a little better. And it has a catheter on the end that can slide into your vessel so that we can take blood without leaving a needle in. It's very small, as you can see, compared to my finger. It's very small. So, nothing to worry about. Now, I'd like to show you how this looks on a model so you can know what to expect. This model is a clear model, and if you see, it's got a simulation of veins. So what we would do is come very shallow here, very shallow, and we'll just slowly insert the needle into the vein and get blood back that way. So you can see, the depth is, is almost hardly in there. It's, it's really not very deep. So then when we're done, we'll just slowly pull that out. There's nothing to be afraid of with this. It's a small poke, and then we'll leave that needle in so that we can get, or the catheter, I should say, will stay in, so that we can get your labs drawn. Now, in order to make your veins pop out, we need to use something called a tourniquet. Let me show you one. essentially a giant rubber band. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's going to wrap around your arm and be pulled a bit tight so that we can occlude the vessels. When vessels are occluded, such as veins, they get bigger. The bigger the vein, the easier the target for us to be able to withdraw your labs from and get an accurate reading more easily. So. The first step I'll be doing is cleaning your arm, and then I will go ahead and put the tourniquet on. 
once the tourniquet's in place, what we'll do is we'll draw with the IV catheter, draw off your labs, and then we'll place a band-aid over that area once we withdraw the catheter. We'll send the labs off right after that and hopefully we'll get the results within a few days. Does that sound good with you? Okay, great. So, what I'm going to do first is scrub the area on your arm. If it's alright with you, I'd like to use your right arm in the antecubital area. Good. Just relax your arm here for me. Good. Okay, I'm going to scrub this now with chlorhexidine. Let's allow that to dry for now. I have a fresh IV catheter here that we've just opened. Separate from the demonstration catheter, that stays with my model, not to worry. Now, we're going to place the tourniquet on, okay? So, nice and relaxed. Okay, a little pressure here. and still for me, okay? Excellent. Okay. Great job. Now, don't move. I'm going to hook up a syringe and allow us to draw off the blood. I won't show you this part because most people don't like to watch. I'll send this to the lab right now. Okay, I'm gonna release that tourniquet here. That should feel a bit better there. And we'll put some gauze over that spot here, coming out of the vein here. Three, two, one, and it's done. Good. It's actually stopped bleeding already. I'll go ahead and put a bandage on there just to be sure. But the good news is it doesn't look like you're gonna need one. Okay, we've got that all tacked down. Now, I would like to offer you the chance to update some of your vaccinations today. I know nobody likes getting a shot, but I think it's important, and you're due for a tetanus shot. Tetanus is a very serious condition, and I think it's important that we treat you. Now, before we do the shot, I'd like to test your uh, muscle strength in your upper extremities so that we have a baseline to make sure that there's no changes. Okay. What I have you do is squeeze my fingers just like this, okay? Both sides at the same time. Go ahead and grab my fingers and squeeze. Okay, that's good. You can relax. Good. Okay, squeeze my fingers again. Good. Pull me towards you. Good. Push me away. Good. Excellent. Okay. Raise your arms over your head for me. Good. Put them out straight in front of you and hold them there. Go ahead and close your eyes. Close your eyes just like this. Palms up. Yes, palms up just like that. Very good. And hold them for me. Take a deep breath in through your nose while you're holding that. Hold it. And out. Good, arms still staying up. Very good. Okay, you can relax. I'm gonna palpate each shoulder here, okay? Any pain or discomfort here, I'm just going to tap on the AC joint. No pain there? Good. I'm just going to compress here and feel a little pressure. Good. Okay. Good. Now let's check the other side here. I'm going to palpate that AC joint.
a gentle little pressure. Good. Okay, good. Nothing there. Okay, no pain. Good, and I think there's certainly sufficient uh, muscle body there to give an injection. Okay, now, I'd like to teach you about the injection before I give it to you. Would that be okay? Good, okay. We're going to use a needle that, this is a safety device needle. Now this one's for demonstration purposes, but I'll show you, it's actually very small. You can see here, uh, it's, it's, it's very narrow and the tip is very small. So I don't want you to be alarmed by this. Uh, it looks very long, but we won't need to go all the way in. In fact, let me show you, this is a syringe that we'll use. This one's a very large syringe, but we'll only need about a half of a cc, just the end like that, to instill enough of the vaccine. So we'll put this on here, and we'll be able to, I'll show you on a model here. Here's a model of uh, skin. And what we'll do from the side is just come in like this, just like that, just about that deep, and give that injection. You can see it's not coming out the back of the model, so it's not very deep. And once we're done, we'll just flip this up and cap the needle. So there's nothing for you to worry about with this. You'll feel a little bit of a poke when we place the needle in. And then, of course, a little bit of soreness after, which is normal as your body reacts to the vaccine. It's a good sign, actually. Would that be okay with you? Good. I'm glad you're making good decisions for your health to protect yourself. Now, we're going to go on the left side this time since we drew blood already from you on the right. We don't need any tourniquets or anything like that, so what I'll have you do is put your arm up here for me. Good. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to clean that area pretty thoroughly. We'll go right on your shoulder here. Do you want me to give you a little warning before we inject? Okay. Okay. So again, just a small amount here of the vaccine. You can see very little amount in here. I'm just going to pinch your shoulder a little bit. Okay, you'll feel the pinch. Three, two, one. Okay, there it is. And we're done. Nice and relaxed. And we'll cap the needle. Good. Okay. Excellent. And we'll band aid that area. Okay. Great. Now. I'd just like to listen to your heart one more time to make sure you're not having any adverse reactions. We'll also just do a quick exam to make sure that I don't see any hives or skin changes. Okay? Good. Let me take a listen to your heart first. Good. I'm going to feel your pulse here on your right hand. Just relax. Good. I'd like to do a full 60 seconds to make sure I'm not missing any arrhythmia. What I'll have you do is just take a nice deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. I'll start the timer. You won't have to listen to it. Just do some nice slow breathing while I count your pulse rate. Okay, go ahead, deep breath in, and out, and nice and relaxed, I'm going to count that pulse rate, good, just keep breathing nice and easy, very good. there. Stay nice and relaxed. Good. Okay. Good. Make
make sure we're still doing those nice deep breaths. Good. Okay, in five, four, three, two, one. Great. Okay. Your heart rate is right around 60, which is great. That's what we'd expect. I don't notice any irregularities that we wouldn't expect. Something called sinus arrhythmia. When you take a deep breath in, it changes your heart rate a bit, but nothing dramatic, which is good. Now, I want to thank you very much for coming in today, and please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and be sure to subscribe. Now, of course, you'll want to come back next week so we can review these lab results together. Who knows, we might need to do another exam next week as well. Of course, we'll address any complaints at that time. I want to thank you for coming to Dr. Adam ASMR today, and we'll see you next week. Bye now. Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right, let's roll them back to one. Come on, we gotta go to the recess room. Can you hear me there? Keep your eyes open for me. We're almost back. We're gonna spin you into this room here. All right, we'll get you taken care of here. You just relax. Give us a few minutes. Hey there, welcome back to Dr. Adam ASMR. Sorry you weren't feeling well earlier, but I'm glad we got you back here. We still have a lot of things to do, so we're gonna get started right now. Now the first thing I need to do is place an IV. We need to get you hydrated, but even before that I wanna get a set of vitals. So, let me throw on some gloves, we'll get these things done, and then we'll take a history and figure out what happened. Are you feeling any better than when you first came in? I know you were passing out. Okay, good. Well, let's check your pulse now. And just try and relax. Deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. You're doing great. Good and a normal respiratory rate. I'm going to place this pulse oximeter on you now. So we'll get this started here and on your finger. Okay. You can hear the beeping from the machines. We already have you on the monitor. We put that on right away. Now I have the oxygen saturation, so we'll leave that on while you're here as well. Next thing I would like to do is just recycle that blood pressure. You may hear the cuff going up. I'm going to push the button now here. Good. It's going to get a little bit tight there. You doing okay? Great. While that's cycling, I would like to take a quick listen to your heart and lungs. On my cursory exam, your heart and lungs sound clear. Now, I'd like to get a little bit more history as to what happened here. Your blood pressure looks normal now. It's just a touch low. Do you mind? I'm going to transition to the computer here in the room. Now, just tell me what you were feeling earlier today. Okay. Ever felt that before? Any chest pain? Short of breath? Mm. Okay. Have you been able to eat and drink lately? Mm. Okay. Okay. Anything else going on? Okay. 
Have you ever had an IV before? Uh, okay. All right. I'm just grabbing some supplies here. Now, I would like to put an IV in. Is that okay with you? And I promise it will only hurt temporarily when we put the catheter in, but in the long term, this will be good. You'll get some fluid hydration. Okay. I'll show you the IV catheter here. This is a small catheter, very small, so it won't be uncomfortable and we'll be able to slowly give you fluids with this. Now, we'll get this area cleaned up here. I'm going to place this in your hand here. Just want to get the skin nice and clean. You doing okay? All right. Now you can see, honestly, how small this is. It's very, very small. This won't be uncomfortable for just more than a second, okay? Some pressure here. And a poke in three, two, one. Good job. That's that poke, and we're all done with the poking. Shouldn't be uncomfortable now. There's no needle in there. I've got you attached to some fluids now to help rehydrate you. Now, based off what you're telling me, I'm also going to have our lab team pull some lab work. We already actually got bloods while you were in and out of consciousness, so we have the bloods that we need to run. One thing I would like to do is a neurologic exam. I think that's important anytime someone passes out. Is that okay with you? Okay. I'd like you to go ahead and look straight at my finger. And follow my finger. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. That felt okay? All right. Could you squeeze? I want you to just squeeze my fingers kind of like this. Just squeeze my fingers here. Good. Very good. Lift your left leg up. Good. And your right leg. Okay. That's good. That's normal. Now, I would like to go a bit further and, and do some cerebellar testing, which is our balance. I'd like you to put your finger on your nose. Good. Now come out here and touch my finger. Good. And back to your nose. Come out here and touch my finger. All the way out. Good. Okay. I'll have you switch hands. Put your finger on your nose. And come out here and touch my finger. Good. And out here and touch my finger. Good. That's all normal. That's what we'd expect. Now, I would like to be more thorough with my cardiac exam. Um, I think neurologically, we're grossly intact. We have normal extraocular motions. I've been watching you move your face throughout our encounter here. You're able to lift both brows symmetrically, and your speech is normal to me. So, from an emergent neurologic perspective, I think we're okay right now. I am concerned this may have been some type of a dehydration issue. Sometimes when we change positions when we're a little dehydrated, we can pass out quite easily. So I'd like to listen more closely to your heart. Is that okay? Great. good. Now I'd like to do an abdominal exam, make sure we're not missing a cause of pain that could have made you in so much pain that you passed out. I'll start with the auscultation of your abdomen, but then we'll go with palpation, percussion, and then palpation if that's okay. Great.
reassuring. You have normal bowel sounds. I'm going to percuss now. Okay, we'll move on to palpation. Just stop me if anything's too uncomfortable. Is that okay with you? Great. I'm going to press in here. Any tenderness? Okay. Here? Okay. How about here? Okay. Here? Mm-hmm. Down here. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right, well, you do have a, a reassuring abdominal exam as well. I think some of the lab work is back. I'm going to take a look at the computer right now. Is that okay? All right. Hmm. Looks like you're a little bit dehydrated. Heart test looks normal. I'm looking at the EKG right now. Looks normal to me. Healthy heart. At least from the EKG and the enzyme test. Let's see here. Kidneys look like they're working okay. Like I said, just a little bit of dehydration. Okay. Your white blood cell count is a little bit up. Not particularly concerning, but I don't have an answer. Your heart rate's a little bit fast. We've been giving you IV fluid here. It hasn't gotten much better. I think I would feel most comfortable if you stay in the hospital, even just overnight, so that we can keep an eye on you, make sure things are getting better. We can repeat these tests and make sure we're moving in the right direction. How does that sound to you? Okay. Now, I know today was fast-paced and a bit different than our normal office visits, so be sure to let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this, and give a thumbs up if you did. As always, hit subscribe, and we'll follow up next week in my office at Dr. Adam ASMR. Hi, and welcome back to Dr. Adam ASMR. I'm glad you could make it for our appointment this week. I heard that uh, you're not feeling so well. A little bit under the weather. Well, I'm glad to hear the test came back negative, but I think we should take a look into some of your symptoms. I understand that you've been having a runny nose, some congestion, a cough. Is that correct? Okay, tell me a little bit more. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. Has anything made that better or worse? I understand. Okay. And was that helping? Uh-huh. Okay. Interesting. No other new medications. Well, I think given that you've been sick for a little bit of time, we should start with a full set of vitals, just as we might do in the emergency department. Is that okay with you? Okay, very good. Let me put some gloves on. First thing I'm going to do is just feel your pulse. I'll just have you relax for this part and I'll borrow your wrist. Now while we're doing this, if you could just take some nice deep breaths, this will take about 30 to 40 seconds. 
just in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good. Mm -hmm. Good, you're doing great with the breathing. Be about 15 seconds more here. Excellent. And while I was doing that, I actually was able to count your respirations at well, as well, excuse me, and I'm, I'm sure you didn't realize that I was counting, which gives us a more accurate number. And that said, I know you're doing some deep breathing, so it may be a little slower than normal, but all normal values so far. I would like to take a blood pressure next, if that's okay with you. Good. I'm going to borrow that same arm, and what we're going to do is just place this cuff right on your arm here. Very good. Now just relax your arm there. I'm just going to test the cuff here. holding pressure normally. Okay, now you just relax there and I'll go ahead and take a listen. Very good. Well, the good news, and I'll take this cuff off now for you. Excellent. Good news is that your blood pressure is normal. Uh, your heart rate is normal. Your respiratory rate is normal. Now I would like to grab a temperature if that's okay. Place the thermometer under your tongue here. If you just lift your tongue up for me. Good. Okay. And relax. Okay. Good. 98.5. And that's in Fahrenheit. That's a normal temperature. So the good thing so far is that while you aren't feeling well, you do have normal vital signs. And that's a sign that the body is doing okay for now. But let's go through a full thorough exam, especially of the head, the nose, throat, mouth, the eyes, and the lungs today. We'll also listen to the heart. And I'll just do brief palpation of your abdomen. It doesn't sound like this is an abdominal problem today. Does that sound okay with you? Okay, great. Now, the first thing I'd like to do, as I usually do, is palpate around your head. And today we'll specifically be palpating the sinuses, the mastoid processes, and feeling underneath your chin to see if there's any swelling to the nodes underneath your jaw or in your neck. We'll get started if that's okay. Have you just relax here? Excellent. Any tenderness as I'm tapping back here behind your ear on the right side or on the left? 
top side. Let's try it again here on the right side. No? Good. And on the left side. Excellent. Good. Good. I'm glad that didn't cause any discomfort. I'm going to feel just around the back of your head, make sure there's no muscular tenderness here on the posterior cervical spine area. That feels okay. Good. Okay. And we'll come under the chin. Good. And down the neck. A little tenderness here. Let me, let me see it in here. Yeah. A little bit of a swollen lymph node there, but that can be what we call reactive to infection. So I don't think anything to worry about. We'll certainly follow up on that. Let me make a note here. We'll follow up on that next time. And if it's not getting better, we can always do an ultrasound. But I think it's okay for now. Um, what I'd like to do is palpate your sinuses. Uh, we'll start with those frontal sinuses, if that's okay. Maxillary sinuses here. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. And no tenderness there. Good. Very good. I'm going to palpate underneath your jaw one more time here. So it's nice and soft, no swelling, which is important. And I don't feel any large nodes in that area. It's just the one in the neck, which can be common with, you know, drainage and post-nasal drip, things like that going on. So that's reassuring. Now, I think an important part of this exam is going to be looking in your ears. Uh, we'll kind of start to take a look from the sides and move our way forward. We'll look in your ears, we'll look in your nose, and we'll look in your mouth and the back of your throat. Is that okay with you? Excellent. Now, I'll just get my kit open here. Ah, there we go. Just as I left it. So we'll get started. This is our otoscope. And we'll attach just like this and check the light source. That looks good. Good. Okay. I'll start on the right ear if that's okay. Great. Now you just relax where you are. You'll feel some pressure as the otoscope does go into the ear canal, but it won't go much further than this. So it should be okay. If it's too uncomfortable, of course, just let me know and we'll stop. You'll feel some pressure on the pinna of the ear here. Good. And no pain when I'm retracting. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Good. I can see that tympanic membrane there. And that looks clear. There's no discharge or erythema of the canal. Actually, it looks quite normal. No swelling of the TM or fluid building up back there either. Good. And I'm going to instill a little bit of air here. Good. That's normal movement of the tympanic membrane as well. Okay. And we'll compare that to the other side here. And just relax for me. Good. We'll take a look in here. Excellent. Clear as well. No erythema, discharge, no fluid. We'll just do a little bit of air here. Good. Good. That all seems normal. Excellent. And there was no pain here? No. Very good. Good. Well, I'm glad that, you know, wasn't too uncomfortable for you. Um, I would like to, while we have this head on, take a look in your nose. Would that be okay? Okay. Now, given that you're having congestion, you know that I do prefer to use this nasal speculum. It gives me a more clear view of the turbinates and inside the nose. Is that okay with you? Okay. Excellent. Now, 
Just look straight ahead for me. Good. Okay. All right, here we go. A little pressure here. Good. Okay. Now the pavement looks okay. A little bit of rang area, but good. No polyps or signs of epistaxis. That's reassuring. And we're gonna check the other side, okay? And just take a deep breath in for me, and hold that. Good. Mm -hmm. That middle turban appears clear. A little bit of swelling in erythema, but no signs of bleeding. That all looks quite healthy. put this away just for a moment here and we'll get ready to take a look in the back of your throat now I will just use a pen light for this uh, we'll take a look in the back I'll have you stick your tongue straight out and that will allow me to see the tonsils better as you say ah it will elevate the palate and it will let me evaluate the uvula and the tonsils, the posterior pharynx. Is that okay? Okay, great. Go ahead and say ah for me. Okay. Upper arcade teeth looks good. Inferior arcade looks healthy and intact. Go ahead and lift your tongue up for me. Good, salivary glands appear normal, no evidence of sialid up here. Good, and we'll try just have you say ah. Good, okay, no pharyngeal erythema or edema, there's no uvular edema either. Uh, tonsils appear normal, no exudates. And you're able to swallow and manage your secretions okay? You don't feel like you're gagging? Good. And your voice sounds normal for you? Excellent. That's all very good. And it's reassuring as well. There's no pain when you bite down. No pain up here in your head either. I'd like to just test that. I'm going to feel your jaw here. Go ahead and just bite down for me. Good. Good. No discomfort. Excellent. And then bite down again. And again. Good. And that feels okay. No pain or tenderness when you do that. Good. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. The clicking can be something called temporomandibular joint disorder or TMJ syndrome. Uh, I don't think that's what's going on here, but we can keep an eye on it. Okay, very good. Well, uh, one of the things I'd like to do is actually draw some blood work before we move on. That way, we might be able to get the results back before the end of our visit. We have a pretty quick lab here. Is that okay with you? It's just going to be a very small catheter to draw this from. I can show you. This is the very small catheter that we can use to, to draw blood here. And if we need to give any fluids, we'll be able to do that with this as well. Now, I don't think we're going to need fluids today. You do seem to be doing all right, but you can see it's, it's very small and nothing to be afraid of. Now, being able to get those lab results can help us check and make sure there's no signs of dehydration. Is that okay with you? I'm going to borrow your arm here, and we'll just put a small tourniquet on your arm. Good. Now, we'll go ahead and 
and sanitize that area. Excellent. We've got our alcohol wipe here. So it's just alcohol is wet here and that will dry. So we'll go ahead and do that over that area. Good, nice and clean. We'll go ahead and take a fresh IV catheter here. Remove that. Okay, you'll feel some pressure from me pulling down on the skin. And a small poke. Good, we're done. Let me just grab this. And we'll send our tubes here. You're doing a great job. tube. Good. Okay, and we'll leave that in place. Let me just tape it down here. Good. And we'll remove that at the end of the visit, but should we need anything else? We have it now. There's only plastic left in your arm. You don't need to worry. You can move your arm freely. Good. Now, at this point, I'd like to take a listen to your heart and lungs. We'll start with your lungs, though, if that's okay with you. Good. Okay. Just relax. Breathe normally. And then at times, I'll need you to take a deep breath. So just like we did earlier, in through the nose. And then this time, with your mouth open, out. It can just help accentuate the noise of the air movement. But do breathe out if you don't mind, just turning your head away. Excellent. Okay. And I'll have you take a nice deep breath in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Excellent. We'll come to the other side. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Great. One more time here. Deep breath in. And out. Mm -hmm. Deep breath in here. And out. Excellent. I'm going to take a listen on the back. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Very good. We'll come to the other side here. Deep breath in for me. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Very good. Your lungs actually sound very clear now. If you'd like, I can clean this off and uh, let you take a listen. I know it's something you enjoy. Got mine, give you these. Okay. Always nice to hear the uh, the sound of your heart and lungs. Now I know you probably didn't get a good listen to your heart, but after I take a listen, I'm happy to let you listen as well. Is that fair? Okay. Well, let me take a listen to your heart now.
sounds entirely normal. No murmurs, gallops, rubs. It all sounds good. I know you'd like to take a listen, so let me get these on you here. Quite relaxing, isn't it? Now, I did order the rapid uh, blood tests that we have. I have some results back to go over before we finish up our exam. So I do have a few components left of the exam. I may keep you a little bit late on today's appointment, but I'd like to go over the blood work with you if that's okay. What I see here is a very mildly elevated white blood cell count. That could be a sign of an infection or it could just be inflammation. Now, because you have a little bit of congestion and a runny nose, it's probably a sign of a, an infection, maybe some type of a viral infection. I know you had mentioned the swab was negative, which is good, um, but it is the season for those type of infections. No signs of anemia or any other concerns with the cell lines, your potassium, your sodium, calcium, all of those electrolytes look normal. So it looks like you've been able to eat and drink okay. Good, good. Yeah, and uh, kidney function looks good as well. It looks like they're doing their job, getting rid of those toxins. Yeah, and I, I did tack on some liver and uh, the liver enzymes look okay. The markers of things like gallstones or problems in the gallbladder, they also look okay. So I don't think that's what's going on. To be thorough though, I would like to just do a very brief abdominal exam. You can stay seated for this. Is that okay with you? Okay, great. Now, uh, what I'll have you do is First thing I want to just check that gallbladder. I know the numbers look okay, but it's good to have a physical exam that goes along. So I'm going to press in here in, in your right upper quadrant, and I just want you to take a deep breath in. No pain. You don't feel like you need to stop your breath for that. Good. Okay, I'm just going to gently press in the rest of your abdomen here. And this is conventionally done lying down, but I have a very low concern for something intra-abdominal right now. And no pain kind of above the belt here. Good, good. You're not really complaining of urinary tract symptoms either, but I do like to be thorough. So without any abdominal tenderness, I don't think we need to go any further. Now, there is one last exam maneuver. I do want to evaluate your eyes briefly, but one of the things we could discuss doing is a chest x-ray. I don't think in this case it's going to add much. Your lungs sound clear and you don't have a productive cough. So the chance that you have a pneumonia without a fever and with normal vital signs, it's actually much less, uh, less concerned at this time. That said, a chest x-ray is actually pretty low radiation compared to something like a CAT scan. So if you'd like to have the chest x-ray, we can write a script for it. What would make you feel more comfortable? Okay, no problem. Now, uh, I'd like to just check your vision real quick. And before checking your vision, I'm just gonna look with the pen light at the conjunctiva to make sure there's no signs of like a conjunctivitis. Is that okay? Great. Just relax for me. I'll take a look here. Good, that looks healthy, well perfused. Excellent. Everything looks entirely normal. Now, you know how this works. What I'm gonna have you do is read the lowest line that you can. I'll have you cover your right eye first. Good, go ahead and read for me. Excellent. I'll have you switch. 
cover the other. Good. Excellent. Have you opened both eyes? Go ahead and read that lowest line that you can. Excellent. Very good. As I expected, nothing going on with vision today. We'll get this closed back up here. Now, I'd like to talk about your exam as a whole today. I think that everything is reassuring here. Uh, your labs are reassuring your symptoms are actually somewhat reassuring and the fact that they haven't gotten much worse but are actually getting a bit better is comforting. And your physical exam is also reassuring. What I recommend for the congestion is actually just uh, something like a... Now, for the congestion, you can continue to use the over-the-counter remedies. I think that would be fine. Of course, if anything worsens, you develop a high fever, I would always recommend that you go to the emergency department or come back and see us. Do you have any questions for now? Okay. If today's appointment helped you, please don't forget to give us that thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss your next appointment. We'll see you next week.